Today we'll be completing a video install of the Jeep JK four-door crusher corners. Here is a detailed list of the tools needed for the install of your Poison Spider crusher corners. A paper copy of these instructions are also included with your crusher corners or can be accessed on our website poisonspider.com. While a Nutsert installation tool is provided, we have found from first-hand experience that this tool is incredibly useful. If you have a hard or soft top on your Jeep, this would be a good time to remove it. Using your Phillips head screwdriver, remove both taillights. Remove the bulbs and wiring harness and set them aside. Starting with the driver's side, remove the raised sheet metal portions behind the taillight. Sand any jagged edges and apply touch-up paint. Place your crusher quarters on the body of the Jeep, being sure to align the corners with the fuel opening. Once you are satisfied with the alignment of your corners, clamp your corners in place and begin drilling out the holes with the 5 16 inch drill bit. Don't forget to mark and punch the opening for the 2.5 inch reverse light. Once you have finished drilling all the holes in your crusher corners, you may now remove your crusher corner. Using the 17 30 seconds drill bit, drill out all of the holes for your crusher corners. Take special care to apply steady and even pressure as you're drilling out these holes. This sheet metal is painfully thin on this part of the Jeep. If you are using the supplied Nutzer install tool, here are a few tips and tricks to smooth installations of your nut certs. Tip number one, apply anti-seize to the threads of the mounting bolt. Tip number two, use a small impact gun set to its lowest setting. Hold the install tool in place with your open end wrench and while applying pressure, tighten the bolt to install the nut cert. Do not over tighten the nut cert. Once it stops spinning, Remove your Nutsert install tool. So as you can see, with the proper Nutsert installation, the, the threads have not pulled to either side of your hole. This is correct. If you are using the Marson Nutsert install tool, be sure to familiarize yourself with the instructions on the use of that tool. Continue the installation of the rest of the Nutserts on the passenger side of the Jeep. Thread all of the mounting bolts by hand. Once they've all been threaded, then carefully, using your ratchet wrench, tighten the remainder of the mounting bolts. If for some reason you cross-thread a mounting bolt, stop, pull out the mounting bolt, and use a tap to clean the threads. With the corners bolted down, it is now time to drill the hole for the 2.5 inch reverse LED light. While using your 2.5 inch hole saw bit, apply steady pressure. A tip here, it's probably not good to do this on a set of corners you've already painted. Again, be sure to deburr any rough edges and apply touch up paint as necessary. Be sure to install your LED tail light and backup light. Watch for future videos on how to wire your LED light. If you have any further tech questions, please feel free to contact our tech line.